Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video I will show you how you can improve your code style and enforce coding guidelines and conventions using KTLint in Android. So KTLint is a Gradle plugin in the end that can be run to analyze your code if it is well structured. So if there is, for example, some misformatting in one of your files, something like this here, then KTLint would actually tell you that, hey, in main activity online 19, you should actually have a line break after the parentheses here. And in my experience, it's actually very helpful and important to have such a linter in, an, in a project where you actually work together with other people, with other developers, because there might be different developers who have different coding styles and different conventions they stick to, which in and of itself is not a problem, but it is a problem if there are multiple conventions in the same project. So if your coding guidelines and coding conventions aren't consistent in your project, and that is what Katie Lind is actually responsible for. So even if you, if there are a ton of developers that the project you work on has consistent coding guidelines and consistent formatting on all that stuff. So let's go through this step by step. I will first of all show you how you can include this Katie Lind plugin in your Gradle file. We want to go to build at Gradle app. And here in the plugins block, we want to add this line. This is this KT Lint Gradle plugin. Um, I specified a version. You can also do the same. And now that will effectively add a Gradle task, which will be called KT Lint check. And when we run this task, it will basically analyze our code and give us some kind of output where we see, okay, those are actually the issues with our current code. So if we go down here and we say KT Lint, here we can configure that plugin. Let's synchronize before so we get these um, auto completions. In here we can say Android and set that to true first of all. So uh, Katie Lind knows that is an Android project. Then we want to set ignore failures to false. So that means if there is a failure for this Katie Lind check test. So if Katie Lind detects something that should be different, then this will basically fail. So if you run this task before your actual build, before launching your app, your app won't launch because you should fix these issues before. And we're going to specify some reporters. What does that mean? A reporter is basically just one way of reporting linting issues. So um, you can have multiple different types of file formats, for example, to report these in. Katie Lint comes already with some of these, but you can also write your own custom reporters, for example, for CSV files. Uh, but we are just going to use the normal ones which is reporter plain, so just plain text. We have a reporter for check style, which is XML, and we have a reporter for serif. So if we now synchronize this, and let's go to main activity and actually kind of misformat this code a little bit. For example, we could add a comment here, something, and the actual guideline would be that we have a space here and a space here to make it readable. But let's say we don't have that and we now go to terminal and we run our Gradle task. So Gradle W for a Gradle wrapper and we call our KT Lint check task. If we run this, then we see the build failed because we set ignore failures to false. So this will actually fail if there are issues. And you can see it reported the issues in these following files. I think there's also a link here somewhere. Um, yeah, here. So we can, no, no, that's not the, the link I'm talking about. Um, you can see here, these are all of our issues. We have a lot of unused imports. The file must end with a new line. That is a convention. Katie Lind actually introduces, and you can also disable these rules. If you say, okay, that's that's dumb to, that our files need to end with a new line, then you can disable these by going to your Katie Lind settings and saying, okay, disabled rules is equal to, for example, how is this rule called? If we go to project, KT Lint app and here in the build folder we, we can find our reports. We want to the reports of our main source set, not from our test source sets. And here we want to check the XML style. These are all of our errors you can see. And that's the description of the error. So file must end with a new line. That is not the case for our main activity here. And this is the actual uh, name of this rule. So if we don't want to enforce this rule, we can simply copy this name go to build a Gradle app and put it here in this list. If we synchronize now and we rerun our KTLIN task, and then reopen our XML file, we see that now this rule is not an error anymore because we disabled it in our Gradle settings. But what you also see is 
here, missing space before our comment and missing space after our comment, which is yeah the issue we basically introduced here. And Katie Lind now successfully detected that. However, one thing we can do, of course, is that we automatically fix all these issues because it's quite annoying that we always see these issues and what these are. But if we now need to go through this file by file, line by line and actually fix these all on our own, that takes a long while. So what we can do instead is we can, instead of running ktlint check, we can run uh, ktlint format. And that will effectively just format all of our files based on the ktlint guidelines. So if we run this instead, the build also failed. Um, if we take a look in main activity, now that is actually properly formatted. So it added the space here, it removed all the unused imports, which is now of course a lot better to and a lot easier to enforce these guidelines. So the build still failed as you just saw. And the reason for that is that there are some rules from ktlint that it can't automatically fix by calling ktlint format. And the issue if we scroll up here is wildcard import cannot be autocorrected as you can see. So here an uh, example unit test if we open this file, we have a wildcard import. Uh, KTLint considers that as a violation. I personally don't think so. Um, I don't think there are many issues with these wildcard import uh, imports other than uh, that it just yeah makes your code suggestions a little bit larger because you might import more than you need. But I find this rather annoying if you have tons of specific imports here. So if we want to also disable this rule, uh, then we can go to app, build, reports, now we also have these format folders and this is relevant in our um, example unit test. So in our test source set format, open this here and you can see this is the rule, no wildcard imports. Let's disable that, copy this, go to build a Gradle app. And here we simply add this as a disabled rule. We can then synchronize now. And if we now add some errors again or some lint errors at least, and then call ktlint format then yeah you can see now the build is successful because there are no issues that couldn't be fixed and if we then click in the file then everything will also be properly adjusted however it's of course quite annoying to always need to call this task manually when we want to do this wouldn't it be much easier if we could simply run this task automatically before we launch our app because that is an action we do quite frequently when we build an app and yeah, it would quite make sense to just automatically format our whole code that it sticks to our coding guidelines before we build or run our app. And that is luckily very easy. We just need to go to build a Gradle app and add a custom Gradle task or not really a task, but just um, that one task depends on another. And the way this will work is we will say tasks dot get by path. The path name we want to refer to is pre built. So um, that will be called before our app is going to be built. And we can say that now depends on ktlint format. So that means if we say pre build depends on ktlint format, that ktlint format must run before pre build. And that's exactly what we want to do. Before we build our app, which will be the case if we run it, which will be the case if we rebuild it, um, we will run our ktlint format command. So if we click synchronize now, go back to main activity destroy this formatting again a little bit. We can also even destroy this a little bit more to make it really ugly. And then if we launch this app, then a Gradle build will uh, run. And if we click in here, then at least after the build, we should see that it properly formatted this code. So right now, yes, you can see now we have a consistent uh, formatting which is correct. So at least correct in terms of KTLint guidelines. By the way, you can also write your own custom KTLint rules. So if you have some, yeah, some specific rules you want to enforce in your company or so, then you can also write these. I actually never needed to do that. Um, I feel like the KTLint guidelines are quite good and quite, um, yeah, quite a lot. But if you need to do that, then you can also do that with KT Lint. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this helped you to actually make your code base cleaner and enforce these uh, important guidelines. If so, then you will definitely also like my more advanced Android courses, which I have on my website. You can check these down below, which is also a brilliant way to support this um, work on, for this channel so that I can keep posting free videos for you in future, two every week. So for those of you who might be new here, I post two Android videos every single week and I have more advanced courses 
on my website, which will make you an even better Android developer than my free ones here. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you back in the next video. Bye bye.